Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with you. Today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust what your cart looks like of your Wix store. So we're gonna change the fonts and the colors of the fonts just to give it a different look and feel. I'm also gonna show you how to actually see what your cart is going to look like to your potential customers without even having to publish your site. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start at the home page just so I can show you exactly how to get to the cart page. So we want to go up here to the page paddle and then down here you will see store pages and you want to select cart. Okay, now this is an element that you can actually click on um, and you can go to settings and things, but you can see here that my cart is empty. So I actually can't see what the cart is going to look like. So to put something in your cart, what you need to do is go to preview and then click on your shop and then choose one of your products. Uh, these are just the, the example products that they put in there for me. So I'm just gonna choose the color and select add to cart. Oh, select color, add to cart. Okay, so let's put that in the um, slide out cart and I wanna view cart, okay. So now I can see exactly what this looks like. So I can see the fonts that they've used um, and the different colors and things. So let's go and find out how to actually change these. So I'm gonna go back to the editor and I'm going to click on this element. You can see with the blue line around here that this is an actual element. So now I can go to settings and in here is where we can make some changes. So you can um, untick and tick the display estimate shipping, display estimated text, uh, taxes, um, you can change what the um, cart says on each of the different ones. Um, and you can change the style and colors here. So I could change the background to a light gray. Let's click OK. There we go. That was just on a low opacity. So you can see how that changes that. Let's change that back to white. Um, I can change the font. I can actually move this over here as well so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so if I change that to Arial, um, and I can change that one to Arial Black. Ah, there we go. So you can see that that's changing this one over here, and this one is changing all of the others like that. Um, I can also change the dividers, change the color of these, make them blue, etc. And I can also change the color of the links, make them red. Um, and then if I kind of do this and I go, oh my god, I stuffed it up, it looks terrible now. I want to go back to what it was, just click reset settings. Okay, and it goes back to what it was. Um, now I can also change what the button looks like. The button is this checkout button here. So I might just want to change that color to a different color and that's fine. It's also the button up here. And I can change the font of the button as well. So I might want to make that a nice bold one. Um, and you can make it rounded. You can see that makes the corners rounded. Um, and I can change and have a border as well. So you can see that creates a border around it. And then I can reset again. Okay, so I hope that was helpful everyone. Let me know if you have any questions or if you would like me to do a tutorial on anything else. And don't forget to like and subscribe and please use my affiliate code in the description below if you're ready to start making some real money with Wix websites and Amazon Associates.